Hi, I'm Margie Dobler, and I've been friends with your teacher since we were in junior high. She told me you guys are going to be working on proportion and scale, and so I'm here to share with you how you can use proportion and scale in your everyday life, and how I used it when I was an engineer. Um, I started out working for General Motors, and when I worked as an industrial engineer, I did layouts, and that's where you decide where you're going to put equipment and furniture, and how people are going to move in the area, so you can best use the space and get the job done. Well, there was no way I could make a drawing the size of an entire tool room and then make, make little um, pieces that were the size of each machine went in the tool room. So I'd scale everything down. I had to go out and measure the entire space, measure all of the equipment, and draw everything down to scale. I typically used a one quarter inch equals a foot. So that tells you how, how much we had to bring that down. Um, I also used it when I worked as a product engineer. When you're designing products that go on a car, again, you can't make them the full size. The car itself would be huge. We did tail lights, and so we would get a drawing of the car that was brought down to scale, and we would also scale down the designs we had for the tail lights so that you could see exactly how they fit and make sure they fit in. I'm teaching a sixth grade class and some high school classes now, and in the sixth grade class, they do a lot of design projects. And one of the ones they're doing right now is coming up with an organizer for something they like to do, a hobby or something. One of the groups is, is designing a locker organizer. And again, they couldn't make a drawing that was as big as a locker. That would be about nine inches wide and maybe five feet tall. So they are making everything scaled down. They have to measure how big the books need to be, so how big your space needs to be so your books can fit, and how big everything can be and still fit within the locker. A fun way you can use this at home is if you like to rearrange your room, or your parents like to rearrange their living rooms, you can help out with that by measuring the room itself, coming up with all the dimensions, where the windows are, where the doors are, um, how everything fits together in the room, and then measure all of your furniture and decide how to put it in. If we can zoom in here, this is one that my daughter made when she was about your, your age. She's a freshman in college now and she still uses it. We measured her room. We made each one of the squares, if you can see it on the video, I'm not sure. Each one of the squares in this graph paper is six inches. So this is, this is what her room looks like, scaled down. This is her closet, her window. She has a loft. This is where the loft is and the wood sticks out. And her door. And then we measured all of her furniture. So she could go in and she could, pl she could place her furniture. So each one of these is made to scale and decide how she wanted to arrange her room. She could say, no, these shelves are too big and decide where she's going to put everything based on everything being to scale. When she had her drawing all decided where she wanted everything to be, then she could call us in and have us help her, put her rearrange her room come back up. So if that's something you would enjoy, rearranging your room, or maybe your parents want to rearrange their family room, you can help them by measuring the furniture, make a, make a to scale drawing with the little pieces to move, and help them lay it out. Hope you have fun with your project, and thanks for letting me come visit today. Bye.